everybody, I'm here in Ottawa for Capital Gaming Expo and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So this is my first ever con being here as a guest. Man, oh man, has it been an experience so far. My ego is like, whew. So I get to the airport and there's somebody waiting there with a sign with my name on it and I was like, cool, can cross that off the bucket list. This hotel room is so nice, like I'm freaking out. I could never afford anything like, like this is all for me. A needle into a bug, a needle. And then I was, I was doing my makeup, putting my face on and I noticed, I noticed this, and I'm like, oh, that's handy. Except it was clearly meant for a titan. Hi up there. How are you doing? How's how's the view? Oh my god, I, I also remember they have robes! I'm gonna feel so freaking fancy like Audrey Hepburn Ariana Grande up in this business. Bang on. So I'm looking cute, and we're gonna go do the LARP 101 panel. Not too worried. I'm just kidding, I'm so stressed out. <laughs> Look at, oh crap, it's too, it's too bright. I thought I put you on auto. Look at, okay, it's gone now. Look, we're, we're, <laughs> That's the Canadian if, if Parliament really buildings want, and a bus. We did it, we made it, we're here. I got to present. You said earlier, you said we could do it. I was like, no, 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 but oh. I was like, you know what? I'm very excited. Hey, everyone's up. 45 to 10 years. Hey, personal assistant. Bought two bags. Can you get a glass of water? I have a job for you. Thank you. I'm actually Well, when I, whenever I can't open a bottle, I'm like, a, like a salsa. You okay? Exactly. What'd you do? I'm so okay. And they gave us a little ticket for an escape game. Yeah, so we're sure, gonna do that at some point. Well, and pre shirt. Hi guys, I'm Matt Shea. That's it. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment. Like, don't don't forget to rate the video. Tour now. Oh, the lighting is terrible. We're gonna go on tour now. <laughs> this is where the LARP panel's gonna be. Ooh, I see people that look like LARPers already. Hi friends! How's it going? How's it going? Oh hey, who made that? Who made oh, that? I don't know. It's some, some girl. Cat, these are my nerd friends. Pleasure. Welcome to Ottawa, by the way. <laughs> Hi! You nerd. You sat in the spider throat yet? It's a Miss Muppet theme song plays in my head. It's time. It is time. Back to the stage. Setting up my laptop. This is a little panel about live action role play. If I was that person, what would I do? And then you do it. So like it can't just be in a bar for one night. It can be over many, many months for a weekend. Like there's costume design, there's writing backstories, there's acting. Past the new world, or scenario you're playing is just... You build up your story. So you add on to your story. A LARP called College of Wizardry, which is based on the Harry Potter universe. Um, and it takes place in a real castle in Poland. Like, oh my gosh, do you know who Momo is? And I was like, I LARP with her. And then they yeah. freaked out. My sister and I actually have uh, one piece of advice. Socks. No, I won't argue with the importance of socks. What have we missed? I met a fan, she gave me a drawing. I'll put it right here after I scan it. Now Matt, she keeps on handing me candy. Hi, yeah, I'm the candy man. Extreme pop rocks. Extreme. Extreme. To the extreme. There's sour berry blast. Super loud, super sour popping candy. Boom. That's a mouthful. Yeah. Are these candy a mouthful? Literally, we'll find no, I mean, out. hardly. It's like a little tiny bag. <laughs> the shuckle. One does not start a voyage without the mighty shuckle. You don't buckle with shuckle. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> I am in it. a van with my absolutely favorite people right now. <laughs> Everyone, I, I think I say thank you to Morgan for coming up to Ottawa because she has made the beginning of the con absolutely amazing. Really? But like, yeah. with the help of everybody else. What even? What even? I shift drove up here. They give that bitch a plane ticket. We love you, Morgan. <laughs> We are going to grab some snacks, head to my apartment, and then we are going to going to escort this lovely lady over here That's me. to a guest-only escape room. So many cats. Guys. Hey. By the by, that was, uh, these well, ears apparently oh, like sorry. read your brain waves. Now think about things. It's got to calibrate. First. <laughs> oh. I have to write mods. Okay. So I think everyone else is staying here and I'm bringing enough to German set. These are moving like crazy. Oh yeah. Do they There's usually move this much? Yeah. Where are we right now? We are at Jigsaw Escape Room. Jigsaw Escape Rooms, where is that? It is on 122 Clarence Street. Wow, that's so neat. Okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so anywhere that you see a sticker that looks like this, that means that it's off bounds, okay? We're not allowed right, to bring perfect. cameras into the room, but uh, we're gonna go solve this and uh, we'll be right back. So yeah, uh, see you when we're busting out of here. Busting. We did it with how much time left? One minute, minute and thirty. A minute Daniel. and thirty. Game and then Daniel's beef nuts and lime juice. What's that, Mr. Jack? Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so we have to choose names for our tabs. Who are you? The bird. <laughs> you are Bernie Sanders. I am Daenerys Targaryen, mother of dragons. Uh, Black Widow. Black that is not boring. It is not fair that. She is on my phone. It's not fair that our country is run by the one percent. <laughs> Ten horse riders? Ten of, ten, ten, ten of the tall one, one of these. So uh, this guy right here is going to teach us Newfie slang. No, I can't. Yeah. He's shy. No. <laughs> Are am you I, not used to being in front of a camera? Am I going to be famous? Hi, Mom. Hi, YouTube. What is the internet? What is the worldwide so, world web? So Newfoundland, I'll try, I'll try and talk in a Newfie accent now so you understand cats, it a little bit better, cats right? Cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. In Newfoundland, we say it's bum by the once. Sorry, repeat that. Bum, bum by the once. Bum by the once. By, it's by and by the once. It means by and by the once. Pretty soon. Oh, where you at now, sir? Nine hundred ninety-seven thousand subscribers. Oh, make it a million. Make it a million. I know I won't be able to post by this. By the time this video goes yeah, up. Yeah, it's already gonna be a million. Chanel number twenty. Get it? Cause the big Justice D twenty is on it, and I like scream queens, and I've got the Ariana hair going on, and I'm hot. That's the joke. Oh, that's I'm hot. That's the joke. Open up the day. Open up the day. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling myself. What is this? My Catterday shirt. That's your Catterday shirt? Can't hit a million subs unless you're wearing a cat shirt. I'm, I'm gonna just talk about it a lot today, guys. Do I only get one of these. You days. deserve you deserve it. Are you done for progies and pinball tonight? Uh it's my cousin's steak. Alright! Why don't you come to that then we could go I'm there? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, is your cousin hitting a million subs today? <laughs> Wait, what I'm happy? <laughs> I'm really excited they just don't stop moving. to have a table now. How did you guys? Who is this? Who is this? LG booth. There is no instructions. <laughs> Paradigm is good for the working class of America. <laughs> the 99% of paradigm is the paradig, but the 1% of the par is the M. I am the owner of Paradigm, who are the European Smite Champions of 2015. I'm the only female right now that's a professional coach in Smite. And gaming is not just a pastime anymore. There's sponsors involved, there's orgs involved, there's coaches. I'm Olivia Picknell. I am the owner of Paradigm, the coach of Avant Garde, and you can find me on twitch.twitch.tv slash dat, D-A-T, Olivia. Perfect. Yes. My name's Toma. Um, we're a group of uh, artists, 3-4, and you can find us online at uh, VulcanDesignForge.com. Thank you. I do a pretty good aerial, actually. I'm pretty proud of my aerial. Yeah, but it, I couldn't do it this weekend because the hair is just... I did it's, not, it, I it's not what it wants to be. If you pick up a plan, and you're a winner, ladies and gentlemen, number one is. <laughs> I want a really bad Thank game you for, for my audience. for my work for my game cafe. <laughs> so many people make videos and then they just give up. They're like, oh yeah, I made two videos and I only got one view, and it was my mom. <laughs> I've been there, guys. Don't worry, okay? It's it's not a big deal. You'll get more views eventually if you keep putting work into it. My name is Brendan, so I am, I have McCormick Wands as my business. You can find me at facebook.mccormickwands. I'm also on Instagram at McCormick Wands. And I have a website called McCormickwands.com. So just remember that name, McCormick Wands, and you're good, you're good to go for all three pretty much. My name is Lucy Kay. Uh, I have a website. It's www.darkdolls.ca. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram under From the Attic Dark Dolls. And 
Yeah, that's what I do. I paint nightmares. <laughs> oh, no. oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm here with, who are you, sir? I'm Scott McClellan. This is Scott McClellan. And what are McClellan. You McClellan. <laughs> Get it straight, lady. What's, what's this all behind me? What's this all about, man? This here is the Pantheon of Wonders. This is gonna be a new tourist attraction here in Ottawa, three stories high, that is basically a shrine to the human imagination over the centuries. We're gonna be looking at fables, fairy tales, curses, superstitions on every part of the planet. Oh, uh, now he looks beautiful. He knows it. <laughs> well, you start in the caves where the cavemen start doing cave paintings. And the cool thing is, as you move forward in time, you meet mythological creatures from each time period. And these creatures sometimes will interact with you and will maybe stop you from going any further. It sounds a lot like LARPing, actually. On a big scale. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. why I'm so psyched about it. And so we do encourage people to come dressed up. Mm -hmm. And we do encourage people to play. Go to www.pantheonofwonders.com for more information. And like us on Facebook. Thanks. Thank, thank you very much, sir. I'm so excited. You'll see. You'll see me. You'll see me. When's it opening? August. August first. It's yeah. opening August first. I'm lying. It might open August first. Oh, okay. But yeah. it's like opening. It's but opening. But she doesn't soon. even know how to pronounce my name. Yeah. So like whatever. I, who are you? Where am I? Exactly. Like, my IQ is not high. <laughs> So my name is James Don Corollas from Next Big Things Studios and we make video games you play in the real world. So our games use the GPS in your phone so that when you move in the real world your character and avatar moves with you inside the game. We're doing Limbo yeah. that Amber talked about in the, this video right here. This kind of reminded me of the Nordic LARP Limbo that I played once. You're a bunch of people, you're essentially in purgatory, you've died but you haven't moved on yet, and there's a, kind of a spirit of death that comes in with different cards that say where you're going, it could be hell, it could be heaven, and you can trade cards between people to find your character's place that they want to be. We're gonna play it, I'm excited. <laughs> You'll be playing a character that is similar to yourself in some ways. Oh, that kind of limbo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're making like... <laughs> oh, we're we, like picking things picking up. Deaths. Nice! Up in the next while. Ambivalence. Prompts. We're <laughs> dead. <laughs> so as this song goes on, uh, think about your life. Well, everything seems to be in grey even though there's no light. The floor doesn't feel like it exists and yet I can somehow make a hollow step. We're just all dreaming. I mean, there's no way this can be real, right? Yes, oh. clearly we're dreaming. Dear, we departed. I'm so sorry. So, a celebrity, an introvert, and and I don't even know what to make of you. Maybe check our pockets, see if there's anything in there we remember. No bars. say limbo. You do know what limbo is, right? It's safe to say that we're in, well, either purgatory or limbo, depending on what you want to call it. It's safe to say that that is crazy. I had a dream I made out with Indiana Jones once. Aren't you a present little ball of sunshine? Say you belonged in hell. I guess I did, you but... Did. I, was, I, was, I, I agreed myself to say it. Well, why would you need, need a resurrection? It was obviously the best ticket. I haven't exactly done too much wrong. Even masturbating is a sin. Everything is a sin if you're a Christian. Yeah. Not even a Christian. I was a Christian and not, not everything was sin. We read the Bible, good God. <laughs> That's a sin. Well, what's gonna happen if you get up there and they're like, nope, can't come in? Then you gotta just sit outside the gate. There's not gonna be another resurrection because the train's coming. Yeah, like I said, I have the best ticket. So, 
That was crazy and emotionally exhausting. So I, f I feel like if I sleep, I'm gonna regret not going there. I suffered FOMO. And what? FOMO. Fo what is FOMO? Fear of missing out. There's a name for that feel. Oh my god. Oh. oh, that makes me so happy actually. <laughs> FOMO. I'm gonna use that so often now because that is literally me. So I just get into my hotel room. Two seconds later, I hear a knock at the door and like, hey, Mo. It's a donut guy. Look at this. This guy just brought me all these like delicious looking donuts. I didn't buy them. This, this is the real white reason why you have a million subs. Oh, stop. This is the real reason. Eat it. This is the Dude. one. This is the one. You're amazing. Let me know if you want any cheese. So no, I did not take a bath, but I was really excited about the free bathrobes and I wanted to feel like a fancy, so put on the bathrobe to be comfy and I feel like I should have a cigar and a glass of brandy, possibly murder my husband for his large fortune and pretend to be sad about it. I don't know. That's just the way the bathrobe makes me feel. I, en I ended up thinking that I was just gonna lie in bed and chill tonight. Connor gave me a call and then Matt knocked on my door and he's like, hey, we haven't gone to pinball and pierogies yet. I'm going downstairs to get a glass of wine. Um, just wanted to check up on you and see what your plan was. And I was like, if you haven't gone yet, screw it. I'm gonna throw out something comfy. And we're back and we're ready to be comfy and go chill and play pinball apparently. I've never played pinball, so it's gonna be fun. We're gonna go eat, no, we're gonna go eat progies and play pinball. Not just a wizard, Whoa. it was Avatar people. Oh. Real life wizard. <laughs> just being an asshole, Matt. <laughs> Here I am, we'll be out in like two minutes. Matt's to sell himself to the Uber and we found House of Talk. Jaywalking. Oh my god! Hey. Black glass! Oh my god! Whoa, close the deck! This one here. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying okay. to, I want to yeah, know the flippers. Yeah, the flippers. Yeah, good. Okay. Wow! Oh. Go! Do I press this? Uh, yeah, to start, yeah. <laughs> you might want to start it before the ball comes out at all. You start it. Aaron, that's the ball. Oh, okay. Good, now you shoot. Go! <laughs> How do I hold oh. it? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh my God. This is so stressful. I'm taking a break from my Walking Dead pinball bonanza to wonder where is this live music coming from? Like it sounds like it sounds like someone is singing karaoke and I don't know where. You have so many balls, Matt! Out of curiosity, because we're stupid, like is there somebody singing it right now? Oh, it's Josh, the bartender. He's his own act, and he's really good at singing and stuff, and so he just takes the wireless thing from the brogy orders and starts singing along. Oh, mystery solved! I'm a shit nerd. Oh. Wait, can you talk more newfie? Talk more newfie. Uh, what do you have, boys? <laughs> and a scatter beard night or what? Buy, buy in, buy in, buy the whatever. Load enough me arse tonight, boys. <laughs> What's right, Mr. Right. Poutine? I 
Yeah, buddy, it's Sprocket. We're gonna go report the con today. I'm so tired. Breakfast of champions, and I have been blessed with coffee and muffins and orange juice. Love it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, and the teeth, too. And the teeth. Ah! Thank you. I'm Mo O'Brien, and if you don't know what LARPing is, it's essentially like an adult game of make believe that incorporates like writing, acting, combat, and in this case, costume design. Some of us make armor, some of us sew. My name's Emily, and this is my business, Sweet Ingenuity, and you can find me at sweetingenuity.com. I love it! Oh. Steampunk Ottawa. Steampunk Ottawa. Yeah. It's me! Or at least it looks like me. Photo of our photos. Oh no, it's a video. I'm here with, who are you? I'm Mark. He's Mark. And what is what is this all around me and behind me? Well, I know what it is. Well, obviously but, you do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, this is uh, mostly Epic Armory, Kelly Massil. So, I like a shop for LARP stuff. Yes. I wish this existed in Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all local. We all play. And uh, yeah, lots of fun. What's the, what's the address? Uh, the address is 114 Boulevard Saint-Rémo. You can go on our website. You'll see the address. We do shipping. Uh, or you can come to the shop and test them out. Thank you very much, sir. Right, very much, you. Mark. Ple pleasure doing business with you. Oh, yes. Check them out. It's all real wood made in Spain, so it's high-end stuff. So I, I walked into the room and just balloon animals. Yeah, <laughs> what we do. That's how, that's how we roll here at, roll. Uh, at Gaming Expo. The green room comes with food and balloons. And balloon animals. <laughs> <laughs> You're the face on the monkey. It's going to be so cute. That's, that's okay, I don't care, we just gotta look at him! Oh my god, he's so happy! He's such a happy monkey! Look at him! Now turn around. Can you move me on my back? Oh, he's so, so happy! happy. He's so happy! <laughs> say what anyone wants to see. I love how you're like this. I don't care, I look like we're in Kawaii Gandalf Good day. Do you want some help? <laughs> yeah. You're okay. Adult problems when you get a balloon animal stuck around your head because your wig's too big. Relatable, am I right? I should I should set up like a little setup where I'm like sitting in a chair and I should I should do a video called Matt Shea Reaction Gifts and I'm just gonna make a whole lot of reaction gifts. Do it! Like when Do someone it. says something stupid, I'll have a reaction gift for everything. That's a really good idea, actually. So, uh, I fell asleep for the last two hours of con, and now it's done. It's time, it's time to go home now. Pan the camera to me crying, too. <laughs> it's good. It's good fate. Wait, I gotta get what? the right, I gotta get the right angle. Oh! oh! Spider-Man! No! Spider-Man! No! Spider-Man! Spider-Man's down! Did, did I do that? I didn't even touch it! I didn't even touch it! Oh my god, oh my god, cover the evidence. Get rid of the evidence. My my jumpsuit's falling down. Oh my god, don't don't let anybody eat these apples, okay guys? <laughs> Nothing happened! Hello, Wasteland Warriors! I am Sprocket! I'm like if the computer glitch was a hu hu human being. Welcome to my garage! It may not look like much, but this baby can travel through time and space. <laughs> That's her. What's she, what's she doing? She's taking pictures. I carry a camera with me everywhere to document my research in other worlds. 